Warning. The following review features opinions and spoilers performed by a, a professional. According to the Dr. T Show and the producer, must insist that you like, follow, and subscribe for more awesome content from the show. How? How does one even begin to critique such a film such as Jackass? It's not simple. Oh no. It's more than just spiders and snakes and shit. With, the, with those included. The Jackass cast and crew are back. Well, most of them. But more on that in a bit. And yeah, they're all old now. They are back after several statements came to be that their last outing would be the grand finale. And with some faces missing, there are all new ones in the form of new recruits. New recruits. Where the hell was my agent when that casting call went out, huh? <sighs> I don't have an agent. After a whole new cinematic opening came, literally, I knew what I must be in for. I'm not sure these new recruits did, though. Jasper, Eric, Rachel, Zach, and Poopies were all initiated into the forever flinching family and were entertainingly picked on throughout the one point five hour runtime. Hell, we, the audience, were all inducted into the Flinch fam after that opening spectacle, as my jaw already hurt from clenching in, in, in anticipation. I wish I could see my face viewing all of this throughout. Wait, what am I saying? No, I don't. The first thing that I noticed was visually a huge improvement from the 3D cameras. But I reckon the first thing everyone else spotted was Knoxville's white hair, which is spray paint? It's not really explained. But seriously, who cared when seconds later he was shot out of a giant 50-foot cannon in a stunt named The Flight of Icarus, which, I'll give it, only lasted a few seconds, but was still way more entertaining than the entirety of the internals. A giant cannon? That's it, you say? Well, yeah. Aside from staring down a charging bull, Johnny mostly cheered from the sidelines and pulled pranks. But can you blame him? From 22 years of enduring torturous pain from head to groin? Ugh. If you're male, or have the balls to buy a ticket to this, this venture, you will feel the pain too. Oh. You will. The most cringiest and ugh, stunts and injuries coming from the latest Dick House production was, of course, nuts. The nuts, rather. You'd claim, eh, per usual, but no. <laughs> no, no. They found a way to get hit in the nads even harder than before. I couldn't laugh. I, I couldn't even look for most parts. What I did find hilarious, though, is watching absolutely everyone's cast and crew's nervousness and, and hesitancy from walking through any door or walking into any room. Being on set for 22 years, they, they knew something had to happen. They knew they couldn't just walk through a door unexpectedly. The film crew are part of the cast, too, you must remember. Only, they have to wear masks now. You think from those whom shitterly roll around in excrement and animal fluids, COVID wouldn't be too high in their concerns. And if you think all these stunts hurt and were impossible to bear before, now they're all sober while doing so. Which, sadly, is why Bear Margera wasn't involved with this edition. Aside from one scene involving a marching band and a treadmill, Bam was always my fave, and Viva La Bam is a treasure to me. But I told myself, I get over him. Along with another absence that was so dearly felt and noticed. Rest in peace, Ryan Dunn. I haven't laughed so hard in a movie or theaters for years. I'm very, very satisfied and glad this was my first flick back. It's hard. It's hard to determine whether the stunts in Forever trump those of the previous three movies. Wrong. But yes. The experience of experiencing them in theaters lives on. And to think, 
12 years ago, Jackass 3D claimed it would be the finale. Ha! They didn't state if this would be the end, though. In fact, with a sh shiny new cast, it could be a whole new beginning. Would you, yes you, would you want to see a Jackass 5 or even a new show made? Which stunt made you cringe the most in this or all of the series? If you listen to my reviews for the first time, this may come as a surprise. If not, <laughs> let me know in the comments below. Find videos corresponding to all these reviews on my YouTube, Facebook, slash Dr. T Show. And now, oh, now I am hooked up with the Fired Up Network. Catch my shows on there as well. SoundCloud, Twitter, Fired Up Network. Jackass Forever is <clears throat> painfully nostalgic and a 9 out of 10 from me.